Oh, hey there. You know, I was sort of just sitting here today and thinking about the fact that something isn't quite right. Typically, around this time of year, we start to see some major leaks coming out of E3. The Electronic Entertainment Expo is, of course, a time of extreme hype. Everybody is just so excited to see what new games are coming out, and I actually think that this includes the developers themselves. So typically, running up to it, we start to see some major leaks hit on the internet. Things like revealed box art, leaked release dates, or maybe just entire projects we haven't heard of striking onto places like 4chan and blowing everybody's mind. But what's really weird is that in 2019, this hasn't happened. I mean, for the most part, it seems like everybody has managed to keep their lips sealed. But what I did today was go through and create a laundry list of different different leaks that I've seen over the course of the last, well, week and a half to see which ones I think are real and which ones I think are very, very fake. What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, and what I want to do is I basically sketched everything out and I want to go through Nintendo, Microsoft, and also Sony. Because while the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 will not be at E3, they're definitely trying to sneak some little reveals out leading up to it to keep the hype train rolling. So let's begin by talking about Nintendo themselves, because they usually have some of the most interesting tactics when it goes into E3, because over the course of the last five years, they've sort of been doing this thing where instead of trying to just scattershot a bunch of different announcements, typically they like to center themselves on one or two major titles. It's what they did with Smash Brothers, Mario Odyssey, things like Breath of the Wild, and it's a gamble that has really paid off. The idea that instead of trying to show 15 different trailers, they just say, hey, here is our next massive game. But right now, it seems like they may be trying to do something a little bit different in 2019 because Nintendo is just working on so much. There's rumors that they could be working on 10 different major projects simultaneously. There's Metroid Prime, Animal Crossing, maybe things like, well, obviously they're working on Fire Emblem. But one of the leaks that's come out that is a little bit difficult for me to believe is a No More Heroes. Heroes 3, and also I've seen a bunch of different leaks talking about The World Ends With You 2. Now, it's not that either of these games would be bad, it's that these things seem fake to me simply because we haven't seen any real buzz around those franchises as a whole recently. Yes, I do think that No More Heroes 1 and 2 are super, super good, and yes, I think that Travis Strikes Again is interesting, but I still don't believe that those games are in full-blown development. Is there probably some early stuff they're tinkering with internally? Yes, but I still can't fully believe that they're actually doing a giant production ramp up and I definitely don't think that they'd be at E3 since Nintendo typically likes to try and show things when they're pretty dang far along. Now what I think they are going to do is some of the leaks they've talked about is how this year is of course going to be the year of the Switch. They are going to finally fully focus on it and not even talk about the 3DS. You see I've even got mine right here you can see it is literally gathering dust. Well here's the thing the Nintendo Switch is a bombshell that continues to just blow up store shelves. It's probably going to be the very top selling console of the entire year. And I think that what they're going to try and do is basically center a lot of E3 on Animal Crossing and Fire Emblem. Now, both of these are games that we have seen a little bit of, but not a ton. I do think that, of course, we'll also see some stuff like... Um, Luigi's Mansion 3 and maybe something along the lines of like a Splatoon 3, but it's hard to say. To me, I definitely think that a major thing that's going to be happening this year that's going to be different with Nintendo is that they're just going to basically have a party. Uh, a lot of times when we see companies start to get a huge lead, which in my opinion they're starting to do, they sort of like to take a victory lap where they say, look what we've already done, here's what we're doing next. And I think that this is going to be the victory lap year for Nintendo. Now, moving on, I want to talk about perhaps the leaks that are the most fascinating because they are all over the place, which is Microsoft. Now, there's actually some pretty concrete evidence that they're going to be having a two and a half hour long press conference this year at E3. Now, before I even finish that sentence, you're probably going, okay, 
That's pretty cool, Dreamcast guy. But what in the world can you talk about for two and a half freaking hours? Well, it seems like one of the main things that I've seen a lot of is that they're going to be talking about a Fable reboot. Now that, to me, sounds great. I love Fable so much. Now, the project internally, some of the leaks are saying is that it's going to be called Fable 4 as a project, but I think that the game itself may be called Fable. Just Fable. From the rumors, it makes it sound like this is going to be a total reinvention and try and go back to its roots. And honestly, it's probably not going to have any of the original people involved. No Peter Molyneux, no crazy promises, it's just going to be the game being great on its own. But here's the weird caveat, most of the leaks are saying that it is going to be a next Xbox exclusive. It's only going to be on the next generation and it's going to come out in 2021. Now the other thing that I've seen a a lot of people talking about is Halo Infinite. Now I'm not going to read it, but there is a huge trailer type leak that's been going around over the course of the last couple days where somebody is claiming to have basically seen the trailer and they wrote out a huge uh, description of it and it sounds super epic. But what's interesting to me about Halo Infinite is because this is, well, obviously going to be the next giant Halo, but additionally, it's apparently going to be cross-generation. They want it to run on the Xbox One and also the next box, which I'm just calling it here to sound cool. Now, I think that this is a very smart move because a lot of Xbox fans love their Xbox, they play their Xbox, they're thrilled about Game Pass, but let's face facts, they definitely want more exclusives. They want more cool stuff that they can play and keep all on top of their little shelf of games. I understand that, right? Part of the fun of games is exclusives. Exclusives help consoles. That's undeniable. But I do think this is something that could keep current fans happy and next-gen fans absolutely thrilled. Now that sounds really, really fun, but there is some stuff that's sort of being talked about right now that I don't believe as much when it comes to, well, in general, the whole Microsoft press conference, which is there is still talk about some sort of scale-bound reboot, and I do still think that we'll see scale-bound someday, but I don't think it's going to be on the Microsoft stage. Um, also, additionally, I have seen some people say that they might do a giant presentation for Gears of War 5 and also Gears of War Tactics. Now, I think that both those games are probably 90% done, but I have a hard time uh, really imagining that they talk about them right now on the Xbox stage. Microsoft seems to be really trying to gear themselves up for the next gen in such a major way, but personally, I would be happy to see more about Gears of War 5. The details on it seem cool, the leaked box art is gorgeous, and honestly, I'm going to play that game no matter what. Gears Tactics, I don't know about. It just seems so weird. Anytime I see a game that's trying to completely reinvent a franchise, I'm automatically skeptical of, but I think any of us would be. Okay, so now that we've talked about Nintendo and Microsoft, we have to enter the weird territory because we're going to be digging into Sony, which obviously is not technically at E3. They are not going to be participating whatsoever at the Electronic Entertainment Expo. And instead, what they're going to be doing is, well, the rumors are saying that what they're going to do is, this week possibly, they're going to do a giant state of play, which are basically their own version of the Nintendo Direct. And what they want to do this time around is reveal a ton about The Last of Us 2. Uh, tomorrow, apparently, we're learning a bunch about Death Stranding. And apparently, one of the things they want to do is try and reveal a release date for both these games. They want to try and basically say, uh, my theory is that both of these may come out in the next eight months. I think that one may come out early 2020, and I think Last of Us Part Two may be out this freaking year. Now, both of those are intensely freaking epic. But beyond this, so here's my thing. I think that what they're going to be trying to do is basically sprinkle a bunch of their own hype leading up to freaking E3 as hard as they can. Since Sony isn't going to be there officially, they want to make sure they're talked about officially. And two things that I think they're going to probably try and get talked about the most at E3 is the Final Fantasy VII Remake and the Avengers Project. Now, I've been hearing a tons of different rumblings about the fact that, and this is leaked online, 
There is something special going on with the Avengers project over at Square Enix, and I think that they're going to try and spend a ton of time this year at E3 talking about what the Avengers project is even going to be. Show us some gameplay, show us some trailers, show us some stuff to try and explain what it is, because the Avengers initiative, whatever it's supposed to be, hopefully it's like Spider-Man plus Iron Man plus, plus Wolverine, because yes, Wolverine is a big part of the Avengers in the comic books. All of that would be great. And honestly, these leaks seem very, very real. The only Sony stuff I'm having trouble believing is there are some leaks that are talking about uh, getting a demo for Death Stranding. I don't believe that. There's talks that they're going to try and do a surprise reveal of the PS5 or something like that. That stuff I can't really fully believe either. But I do think that uh, Sony is going to be trying to ramp up and steal some hype as much as possible at E3. Either way, this is going to be a very fun ride, and I'm curious what really goes down. Uh, obviously, when it comes to the internet, this is all just leaks and speculation right now. All of it may be true, none of it may be true. There are some leaks out there that are huge that I didn't talk about, like, uh, Roller Champions. Ubisoft has apparently a huge roller derby game that's about to come out, and they just leaked the entire game by accident. People are seeing all this art and stuff way ahead of time. There's also stuff like, there's just so much out there that is curious, but might be convoluted. Thank you all for watching. This has just been a random off-the-cuff video talking about my hype for E3, and I'm excited for it. Uh, man, it's crazy that it's just like 10 days away now. What do you think? What are your favorite E3 leaks so far, and which ones do you think are just so clearly hilariously wrong? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. So I actually filmed this, this intro where I'm messing with the Game Boy. I filmed that like 10 times, and at one point I actually dropped the Game Boy because I'm a doofus. You know, here, I'll edit in right here. Do 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 Oh god damn, oh shit. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.